Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This video is going to be a quick recap on how to get started in Lightroom, specifically what to do when you want to bring in photos and uh, organize them before you edit them. First things first, when you open Lightroom, this is going to be your workspace. Uh, we'll dive into what each panel is for in a second. But what you want to do first is go to the top right to make sure your module selected is your library, right? So whenever we want to import and organize our files, we want to make sure we're in our library workspace. When we get to the next chapter or the next section to um, edit our photos, process them, we do that in our develop module, okay? So make sure you're in the library one for now. So to bring in media files, uh, photos, right? We want to go to our left panel here and at the very bottom it says import. We're gonna click import and then a new window should pop up giving us the ability to select a source on the left. And if you're not familiar with um, Macs or their system, right? I'm just gonna open up our Macintosh HD and then go to our users. And then you find your name or whatever your uh, your system is, sister user, system user is uh, titled under. Uh, and then you're gonna open up whatever uh, folder you want to uh, maybe select your, your, your files from. So for example, I have my folder saved on desktop. Now, if you click desktop, right, you're gonna get a lot of photos ready to be selected. Uh, now, that's because it just shows what is uh, just on the immediate desktop and not in the, the folders. So if you were wanted this, if you actually want this, you can hit uncheck all and then selectively select which photos to, uh, to import. Now, that's not what I want, so I'm gonna uncheck those and I'm gonna open up my carrot, right, this little triangle next to the desktop folder, open it up, and then I'll find my folder that I have my photos in. Uh, for me, it'll be LR demo, so I'm gonna highlight that one, and then I have my four photos here. I'm gonna check them all because I wanna bring all five of these photos in. If you're redoing this demo alongside me, uh, make sure you download the same fo uh, photos. So I'm gonna check all, and then I'm gonna to go to my bottom right and hit import. Now in our main area, our work area, this gray, uh, gray section, the, the gray window, I guess, um, that takes up most of the, the workspace is where we'll see all our photos. Now, we can examine them a lot closer. Uh, right now we're in our tile view, our thumbnail view. We can go down here to hit loop view if we wanna view each photo independently. And we can you know, scroll left and right with our keys, our keypad, right? So we have a set of photos, some that are usable, some that are not. Um, and we want to maybe just filter things out before we proceed to the next chapter where we develop. That way it saves us some time. So for example, right now we only have five photos, but as time goes on, you're going to end up putting more and more photos into your library. Uh, at the end of this semester, you might have like 100 photos, maybe even more, um, depending on how many units we do. Now, what we want to do is create collection folders for each of our, uh, our photos so that we can find them easier. So for example, let's say these two photos, one and three, are travel photos, right? So I can easily highlight them both right, by holding command and clicking both of them. So now I have my two travel photos highlighted. I'm gonna to go to the left panel where it says collections, and then where it says the little plus sign, right, hit that, and then create collection. And I'm gonna name it travel. You can name your collections any way you want. I'm gonna create it. And now, if you take a look in our left panel, I am in the travel collection folder and I have two photos, right? I put my two travel photos in here. Now we've created a folder to help organize our things. If we wanna go back and take a look at all our photos, we just have to go to the top where it says all photos. Right now we have all five again. We can also filter out by previous import, although 
those two are one in the same right now because we only have five photos imported in. So no big deal. Maybe you want to do one more thing, right? Let's just keep going. Two and five, both of those are sport photos. So maybe I'll create a collection for sports. Okay. So we have two photos here. And then maybe if I go back, I want to add one more, right? This is a spirit day photo, right? From, I, I forget what they call it, but it was like Mario Kart racing, I think. So um, if we do that, if we highlight number four and go to collections, add, create collection, spirit day, right? So if in the future we have more spirit day photos, we can just throw them into this folder, right? So great. Before we, um, before we progress to the next chapter where we can actually get to editing our photos, here's a few tips on maybe just to further organize your collection. So for example, I'm in sports right now. I have two photos. You can see one is actually labeled yellow already and has two stars. So if I were to put them onto loop view, right? So if I wanted to give this a rating, maybe I would change it to three by hitting simply the three key, right? So I set my rating to three, set it to four. You notice the stars are increasing, so maybe five. I can even click it. Um, I can change the color to maybe blue. So maybe um, you know this gives me another way of just filtering out and keep taking notes internally, right? So you can see in the little film strip at the bottom here, it now has a blue outline. And if I go back, you know, to our our uh, tile view, right? I've given it a new rating of five and also it has a blue outline, right? Now, if we go back to loop view and we hit our right key to scroll to our next image, obviously this image is not usable, right? It is out of focus, it's all right, we miss sometimes. So maybe I don't wanna give it an image uh, or a rating, right? Or maybe I wanna flag it as red, who knows? It's entirely up to you how you wanna organize your, your photos. Um, so if I were to go back to all my photos, right? If, uh, if I wanted to filter out my photos, I can go to the bottom and then I can hit five stars, right? I'll set it to rating is equal to. So right, if I were to set it to five stars, then only one photo pops up because, right, I only have one photo rated at five stars. Likewise, maybe I wanna put a filter out on all my red photos. So for example, I'll just hit red. And now my only red photo shows up, right? my unusable photo. So, good, there we go. Um, obviously I can return and turn off my filters again. So, and there you have it, a quick and easy way to import your media files and then organize them. That way when you get onto the fun stuff, right, processing and developing your, your digital files, um, hopefully you'll save some time and headaches because you don't need to sift through a thousand photos. So click the next video uh, on how to develop your photos and I'll see you then, all right?